Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you a simple strategy you can copy to win a lot more singles matches. So let's first watch two points in their entirety, and then we'll diagram them. Now, this footage is courtesy of Liam Ampelato over at Court Level Tennis. Go in the description below and give them a subscription. They have amazing content, and it's exactly this. It's Court Level uh, footage. It's just awesome. So, if you could see what happened in those two points, it was very simple. It was a good serve that elicited a weak backhand shot that the server moves around and makes a forehand. So, if we just look at this. Alcarez on the other side hits a good serve. Rublev, or Rublev, <laughs> as I think I'm supposed to say it, he hits a weak return that actually goes to the ad side of the court. The ball lands over here. But Alcarez doesn't choose a backhand, but rather he moves around it to make it a forehand. This is definitely one of those topics that player, more players know about than actually do. Right? You, you tell this to 100 people, they'll all say, oh, I know that, but only like 30% of them do it. So when you get a weak ball coming to your backhand, see if you can move around it quickly and make it a forehand. In fact, if we look at Alcarez on the other side, as he's moving, he actually steps onto the singles line. He moves to his left, and his left foot steps on the singles line to get all the way around this ball. The next thing I want to show you is that Rublev is not just waiting to see where Alcaraz is going to hit this ball, right? So Alcaraz is either going to hit it here or he's going to hit it here, right? So Rublev doesn't want to stay in the middle. He wants to guess which way. It's like a soccer keeper, right, on, on a penalty kick. You're, you're going to guess <laughs> which way the, the, the ball is going to go. It's no different because if you wait to see where it goes, it's going to be too late. So Rublev guesses. And yes, he guesses wrong, but that's better than not guessing at all. Because at least if you guess wrong, you're going to be right 50% of the time. So now the same thing happens on the next point. Rublev hits a great serve down the tee. Alcaraz barely gets his racket on this ball. And then look where Rublev goes. He goes all the way in to the doubles alley. It's amazing how far over he goes to make it a forehand. But if your forehand is big and it's your weapon and you get a weak ball that comes to your backhand, don't just accept that. Move it around move around it and make it a forehand. So here he blasts it up the line and you can see Alcarez guesses as well. So he actually guesses that Rublev is going to hit the ball to his backhand. Now he guesses, but he guesses wrong and that's okay. I'd rather you guess and be right half the time than not guess and then have no chance of getting to that ball because the ball is going to be such a big shot that you can't move into position. So now let's watch those points in their entirety again, now that we've diagrammed them, and look for the big serve that elicits the weak response that they move around and hit a forehand, and then look how the opponent guesses. So if you go out and practice that any weak ball that comes to your backhand, you move around and make it a forehand, you work on that, you get better at that, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.